everyone, it's Kat and welcome to the first ever Soothing Sunday. What is Soothing Sunday? It is gonna be a series on my channel where once a month I'll post, you know, a decently long video of just me doing plant maintenance around my room and taking care of my plants, updating you on my collection, a very casual, almost vloggy video that you can just put on and relax to because we all need a little bit of relaxing. In a while. This is perfect for if you just want a series of plant videos that you can just put on in the background and have like a relaxing, good time. So welcome. Okay, so last thing, this isn't informational, but I did want to share what fertilizer I'm using today because I will be doing a lot of fertilizing. So just in case you're curious, this is the fertilizer I use pretty much for all of my houseplants. And then this I use for my Hoya just spray it and i have a succulent fertilizer but i will not be fertilizing my succulents today okay so i have my little setup this is pretty much everything i use to do my plant maintenance on the weekends i have my fertilizer my moisture meter a rag distilled water regular water and my little tub i had a quite a bit of a traumatic experience right now there were there was a spider, one of those house centipedes. In this thing, when I pulled it out, the spider was mid-feast on a third bug. It was quite the sight, but here we go. This section all done. I took care of my hanging plants, the ones on the table, and the ZZ. Um, honestly, this section usually takes the longest for me, but this went pretty smoothly. Not everyone needed water, not everyone needed to be fertilized. I gave a good wipe down to the table. And now my next job is to swap out all of the water in my propagations and shipments. This section is mostly my humidity loving plants. These are a little bit more finicky. And I'm gonna fertilize some of them, water some of them with distilled water, change out the water in the humidifier, and just clean up the shelving unit a little bit.
Something I'm currently struggling with is the placement of this begonia because this begonia, begonias in general absolutely love humidity and can't really thrive without it. But based on where it is, it's also getting some of the moisture from the humidifier on its foliage and begonias hate that. So I'm getting some crisping right here on the leaves that are closest to it, right there. And I am struggling a little bit to keep him happy because of that. Um, I had to rearrange my room recently and this is the only place that I could have him. So that's just something I'm gonna consider moving forward and kind of keep my eye on if there is a better place for this begonia. Looking good. These are all done and taken care of. But this one didn't even need water. This guy didn't need water and this guy didn't need water. So honestly, you know, the more frequently you're checking in on your plants, the more you're gonna have to do all at once. And I find that super helpful. I'm really excited about this guy. I wanna show you him because he is absolutely loving this moss pole. I was super hesitant to start using moss poles because I was probably gonna have to make one myself um, I think that they look a little funky sometimes, if not done correctly, and before this guy started filling out, I was feeling kind of disheartened and not super into the moss pole, but he's starting to put out really big growth up top. He's crawling by himself, and it's really exciting because now I get leaves like this, you know, which are pretty big for micans. Yeah, look at that. I'm gonna growth like that even though these are the tips of the plant. And if I were to hang him, he would slowly start putting out smaller and smaller leaves. So this is a great way to ensure that as your plant grows, he's gonna get big leaves because these plants really love to climb. One thing I personally find really helpful while doing this much maintenance is carrying around this large vase. And basically I just bring it around with me and I empty all of the saucers into it so that I'm not constantly having to worry about the saucers overflowing or running to the sink. Um, I just dump all of the excess in here or if it's a little bit of a more bigger plant or a plant that's a little funky to water and I need to kind of give it a hose down with the watering can, I'll just place the pot right over the vase and just water the plant directly over it. So this saves me a lot of time. The water is a little murky because there's fertilizer in there and yeah, I just find that super helpful. All right, so next I'm going to be doing this section. This is honestly a little bit of a lighter section. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna give this guy a shower, I think. I think it's time. He's really dusty. Um, you can just, wow. Yeah. This guy needs a shower. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that and I'll show you exactly how I do it. I'm probably gonna go ahead and put you in my bathroom. Peacely just finished her little bath and she looks so good. I love seeing plants right after the bath or shower. And they're glossy, they're dark green, they're beautiful, they're happy. I'm so glad I finally did this. It was long overdue. But now this plant is definitely way too heavy for me to pick up. So I'm just gonna let her sit here for a little bit and I'll probably need to ask for some uh, manpower. So the Peacely is back in her home and I'm just checking in to say that I did it all by myself. So, didn't need manpower after all and that's all I'm gonna say. 
on that. Okay, so my bedroom is pretty much done in terms of plants. Um, after I finish filming, I'm gonna do all of the boring stuff like clean the dog food bowls and swiffering and laundry, but this is just strictly plants. You guys do not need to see that on a soothing Sunday. But now I'm gonna take you into our living room where I have my little plant stand and I'm gonna take care of those plants. And then I will go into the kitchen and take care of those plants. So we are almost done. Not quite, but we will get there. Here is a little other piece of my plant collection. I usually don't film in here because there is relatively little to no light. Um, I'm gonna turn off the grow lights and go ahead and take care of these plants. And I'll check in with you when I am done. I just changed this guy's water. Um, this is a recovering philodendron imperial, I think. And when I got him, if you don't know, um, I had some serious root rot problems. So I had to basically strip away everything from the plant, except for the node and a couple leaves, um, and try to grow some new roots that aren't rotting. <laughs> so it's been quite a journey with this guy. But I wanted to share that we finally have some good looking roots and not just one. So I'm very, hold on. I am, oh, sorry. I am very excited about this. This is great news. I think that this guy is gonna make it.
Okay, well the hair is up, the nails are filthy, so that means I am at the end of my plant maintenance routine. What you just saw is what I do every weekend, usually Saturday. Um, and then Wednesdays I do a little bit more of a relaxed version of this. And then daily I'm just doing a little stroll around the indoor garden to make sure all is good. So that was it for my first soothing Sunday. We love alliteration in this home. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you feel a little bit relaxed, you did something productive, or you just literally watched me run around my house cleaning. I appreciate it all. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.